when the glitz and glamour of Hollywood intertwine with the sinister shadows of organized crime, stories that defy belief emerge. Dive deep with us into the life of John Rosselli, the man who bridged Tinseltown and the Mafia, and even became a pivotal piece in the CIA's covert operations. From the silver screens to covert plots against a world leader, let's uncover the enigma that is John Rosselli. John Rosselli, originally born Filippo Sacco on July 4, 1905, in Esperia, Italy, immigrated to the United States with his family at a young age. The Sacco family initially settled in Boston, Massachusetts, before making their way to Chicago. The complexities of adapting to a new country, combined with the challenges of the urban life in the early 20th century, shaped Rosselli's formative years. Growing up in the rough neighborhoods of Chicago during the Prohibition era, Rosselli was exposed to organized crime from a young age. The city was a hub for illegal activities, particularly the bootlegging of alcohol, which provided lucrative opportunities for those willing to take risks. The allure of quick money, combined with the visible power and respect garnered by mob figures, became a significant attraction for many young men of the time. For Rosselli, the need to support his family and elevate their social standing was a driving force. Jobs were scarce, and the illegitimate avenues for success seemed limited for Italian immigrants facing prejudice and systemic barriers. Organized crime, on the other hand, offered an alternative path to upward mobility, albeit fraught with danger. In the bustling streets of Chicago, John Rosselli quickly gained a reputation in the mob for his charismatic yet ruthless efficiency. By the 1920s, amid the Prohibition era, he was deeply involved in the bootlegging scene, supplying the city with the illicit alcohol it craved. The Chicago Outfit, one of America's most dominant crime syndicates, led by the infamous Al Capone, soon took notice of Rosselli's prowess. Recognizing his potential, the outfit integrated him into their operations, which spanned from gambling rackets to prostitution ranks. Rosselli's dedication and sharp acumen ensured his rapid ascent within the organized crime hierarchy. Key partnerships significantly influenced Rosselli's rise in the underworld. The backing of Al Capone was invaluable, opening doors and presenting opportunities for Rosselli. His relationship with Tony Accardo, another titan of the Chicago outfit, further solidified his standing in the mob. The 1930s saw Rosselli relocate to Los Angeles, where he ingeniously intertwined his mob activities with a glamorous world of Hollywood. This move resulted in associations with the likes of Frank Sinatra, granting Rosselli a unique blend of influence in both the entertainment industry and the criminal underworld. Additionally, Rosselli's involvement in the vibrant Las Vegas casino scene connected him with notable figures like Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr., amplifying his reach in the entertainment sector. Collaborations with Las Vegas magnates such as Mo Dalitz further fortified Rosselli's position in the gambling and entertainment arenas. Throughout John Rosselli's storied criminal career, he found himself in the crosshairs of law enforcement. With an expanding realm of influence, Rosselli faced a myriad of investigations and legal challenges. Among these were charges of tax evasion, a tactic often employed by the government to ensnare elusive mobsters. His deep ties with Las Vegas and its gambling milieu also led to inquiries regarding illegal gambling operations. As the government ramped up efforts against organized crime, particularly with the RICO Act, Rosselli became a prime target, accused of a range of racketeering activities. The spotlight on Rosselli intensified during the mid-1970s, when he testified before the US Senate about the CIA mafia plots against Fidel Castro, revealing the depths of collaboration between organized crime and the nation's top intelligence agency. In the 1930s, when John Rosselli shifted his operations to Los Angeles, 
the boundaries between the dazzling world of Hollywood and the murky depths of organized crime began to blur. Capitalizing on the film industry's vast potentials, Rosselli established influential connections with figures like Frank Sinatra and other Rat Pack members, including Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr., featuring prominently in his circle. Beyond the blitz and glamour, Rosselli's strategic moves within Hollywood were evident in his influence over film productions, primarily by controlling labor unions linked to the film world, subtly manipulating the pulse of Tinseltown. Yet, Rosselli's reach wasn't confined to Hollywood's silver screens. The Cold War era saw him entangled in one of the history's most audacious plots, the CIA's mission to assassinate Fidel Castro. The early 1960s marked the CIA's outreach to unconventional allies, including the Mafia, to eliminate the Cuban leader. With the mob's considerable assets seized following Castro's nationalization of Cuban casinos, figures like Rosselli became invaluable assets. Serving as a bridge between the government agency and willing executioners, Rosselli's rule epitomized the intricate dance of alliances during this tense period. However, alliances come at a cost. In 1976, the chilling discovery of Rosselli's body, decomposed and confined in a steel drum in Miami's down Foundling Bay, sent shockwaves across the nation. The mob-style execution, combined with Rosselli's previous testimonies about the CIA mafia plots before the US Senate, led to rife speculations. Was this a bid to silence Rosselli? preventing potential exposures of the deep ties between crime syndicates and the corridors of power. Rosselli's life and strategies, bridging Hollywood's limelight and organized crime's shadows, set a precedent for future mob operations. The blend of legitimate fronts and underworld activities, particularly evident in places like Las Vegas, demonstrated the ingenious and often dangerous game Rosselli played. His legacy, a testament to the complexities of organized crime, continues to influence mob strategies, reflecting the intricate mesh of crime, entertainment and power. In the annals of American crime history, few figures bridge the worlds of showbiz and organized crime as John Rosselli does. Emanating from the bustling streets of Chicago and eventually finding a stride on the sun-drenched boulevards of Los Angeles, Rosselli's life story is a tapestry of ambition, strategy and controversy. Rosselli is heralded not just for his underworld prowess, but for his ability to meld the glamour of Hollywood with the shadowy operations of the Mafia. In crime history, he is a standout figure with notable involvements ranging from bootlegging during Prohibition to his infamous role in the CIA's plots against Fidel Castro. Such activities have not only earned him a spot among America's most notable mobsters, but have also ensconced him within a cloud of intrigue and speculation. Beyond the confines of crime narratives, Rosselli's influence permeates popular culture. His life, intertwined with the entertainment world, has become fodder for films, books and documentaries. These portrayals often oscillate between the allure of Hollywood and the dark intricacies of crime, epitomizing the duality of Rosselli's existence. Yet, Rosselli's life wasn't just about power plays in the Mafia or Hollywood tie-ups. His involvement in larger geopolitical schemes particularly his collaborations with the CIA, paints a picture of an America grappling with Cold War anxieties, where the lines between crime and statecraft blurred considerably. In summarizing Rosselli's life, one cannot merely label him as a mobster. He was a product of his times, a strategist who formed powerful alliances, an influencer who knew the pulse of both Hollywood and the underworld, and, at times, a pawn caught in the tug of war of larger national interests. If you've enjoyed this dive into history, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tales from the past.
Till next time.